Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Ok guys, welcome back. I will let the project file link in my description below, you can check it from there. So the first thing that we have to do is create a text. For that I'm gonna use Type Tool. You can just click to here or press Ctrl T for that. And let's just click to here and write 00, double point and 00. And let's select this text and go to fonts and let's change the font. I'm gonna use this font and change the font size. Okay, this is good. Now go to selection tool and let's move it like this and hold control, double click to pan behind, move the anchor point to the center. And go back to selection tool and then let's go to align and let's move it to the center. Now let's select this text and go to effects presets and let's search for slider control. Let's double click to here and then open this text settings, go to text and select this source text. Let's link it to slicer control and let's open the source text and let's paste our expression. I will add it in my comment. You can check it from there and use it in your animation. Let's paste it. Okay, nice. And just click to here. But sometimes it might not work in your animations, so you will get an error icon on here. So to fix that, let's just go to File and Project Settings. From here, come to Expressions and change it to Legacy Extended Script. And just click to OK. Now we can start to give animation to it, but first let's test it. OK, nice. Very cool. Let's go to 5 second and make a slider keyframe and go back to beginning. And let's change it to 5 second like this let's make it 300 nice now let's check it okay nice let's just go here and press n also let's add some settings to it so first let's change the color of it for that let's select the text and go to effects presets and let's search for fill and let's double click to this fill effect and then let's change the color of it from here. I'm gonna use the blue color like this. And click OK. And now let's go to effects presses again and let's search for glow. And let's drag and drop it to our text layer. Also select this glow and let's move it to the up. And let's change the glow radius like this. Okay, let's make it 60. Okay, to make it more realistic, let's just select this text layer, let's duplicate it with Ctrl D and select this text layer. Let's delete this slider control and let's close this text for now. Let's press Ctrl D or just go to Type Tool and let's delete this text and write 88 double point and 88. And let's enable this second text and select this text. Let's press T and change the opacity of it like this. Let's make it 20%, let's see. Okay, nice. Also, let's go to FX presses again and let's search for Gaussian Blur. And let's double click to here and change the blurness like this and move it to the top. Let's see now. Okay, nice. Now let's close them and select both text. Let's right mouse and go to precompose and rename it to countdown. Click OK and now let's enable the 3D and select this countdown and change rotation like this. And a little bit like this. Also press S and let's change the scale of it. And select this countdown, press P. Let's make a position keyframe and move it to the left and a little bit like this and go to the end. Let's move it like this. Let's see. Maybe we can move it like this to make it more slowly. Nice. And lastly, let's create a grid hour for animation. For that, just right mouse, go to new and create solid and click OK. And let's rename this solid to grid. Now go to FX presets and let's search for grid. Let's double click to this grid 
and change the color. I'm gonna use green like this and click OK. Now select this grid and let's move it to down and press T. Let's change the opacity. Let's make 20%. Okay, nice. And also let's enable the 3D. And now select this countdown, press R. And let's copy this orientation with Ctrl C and select this grid, press R. Let's paste for this orientation. Also select this countdown, press S, so we can see our scale amount and we can apply it on our grid. Select the grid, press S and let's change it 149. Now select this grid and let's move it a little bit like this. And link it to our countdown. Let's see our animation. Okay, nice. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.